Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna bust all over 25 myths on Retro Bowl. Can players request trades from a team? What happens if you complete all the achievements? And at the end of the video, we're gonna reveal whether or not you can actually bring a player out of retirement. Let's start testing out some of these myths, all right? All linemen can hold up for an entire quarter. If I try this with a controller, maybe this could work. First down, if I just started running, can I last for an entire quarter? All right, here we go. Oh my God, he's coming for me. No! Don't let him get to me. Don't let him get to me. Come on. Come on. Keep scrambling. You got 32 seconds. All right. We cannot get tackled here by the defender. Why is my old lineman just not doing anything there? Don't dive at me. Nine more seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we made it. He's still not hitting me. There he goes. All right. Safety. All right. We lasted for an entire quarter, though. I guess this myth is true. The old line can hold up for an entire quarter. Even though my whole lineman didn't do anything on that play. Myth number two, you can have slow motion replay. We gotta get a highlight to get a replay. Let me score a touchdown for you guys real quick. I'm nice. Give me that replay. All right, here's the replay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. Oh, I can reverse it. All known as dragging my thumb. Wait, what the hell? This is cool. I need to use this more for my videos, man. Look at this slow-mo. Yeah. I feel like this is good because I can now watch film. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this, look at this. Hey, slow down for me. There you go. There's a coaching point somewhere right there. You know what I mean? That hey, that's pretty dope right there. All right, okay, that's true. Kneeling the ball takes away more time than a completion. All right, let's do some counting. Let's do some math. The moment he gets down, we're gonna start our count. Okay, somebody tackle me, please. Tackle me. One, two, three, four, four, four seconds. All right, now we're gonna try to kneel. H how do you kneel again? I, I did this last time. All right, here we go. Here, I think it's like this, 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 this. One, two, three, four. Four seconds. Hold on, that, that don't even make no sense. Kneel. One, two, three, three. Kneeling is shorter. That makes absolutely no sense at all. Kneeling the ball does not take away more time than a completion. That's a myth. A player can request a trade from your team. I saw this on a Reddit post. I personally have never seen this in my game before. I just got offered a trade from my wide receiver here. But I've never seen a player request a trade for my save, and I'm on year five. This myth, I believe, started because somebody out there photoshopped a YouTube video of a player requesting a trade. I, it's not true. It's a myth. Old linemen are worse. Worse than no star blockers. I saw this on a Reddit post last night at 2.30 in the morning. Don't ask me why I was on Reddit at 2.30 in the morning. And this absolutely blew my mind. All right, look at this. Two tight ends and one old lineman. All five stars compared to no star blockers is the title of this chart. Now, if we take a look at the y-axis here, it is measuring time in real life seconds. If we look at when the computer blitzes here, you will see that no star blockers actually give your quarterback more time in the pocket. And if you look at non-blitzes, is you will also see that no star players give you more time in the pocket as well. This is true. Old linemen are worse than no star blockers. You're better off having no old linemen unless you run the ball. Which, in that case, you're a freak. Defensive backs are better kick returners than wide receivers and running backs. Ooh, okay, we gotta test this one. All right, let me introduce to you guys my testing subjects. All right, my rats. Representing the DBs, we have Wong. Lee Wong, maxed out speed, max stamina. He's representing team defensive back, all right? And team running back slash wide receiver, we have Conklin, Stephon Conklin, max speed, max down. He's even got max strength. We're doing five kickoff return attempts with each player. Whoever gets the longest kick return wins. All right, let's start with Conklin. First attempt. Oh, it's raining here in Detroit. Let's see it. Conklin, Conklin. What is that? 28 yards? Representing team running backs, team wide receivers on this game. All right, he's got some blocks. Here we go. Conklin, here we go. Now we're talking, Conklin. Max speed, max stamina. Now we're talking. On extreme, it don't matter. Let's see if he can make moves. Let's see if he can make moves. Oh my goodness, he hurdles. Conklin, he goes all the way. Second attempt. Yeah, blocks on, oh, no blocks. Attempt number four with Conklin. Can he get a second kick return touchdown? That'd be absolutely nuts, man. I think that would seal it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that was not bad. Conklin. Conklin gets tackled. All right, but he got a kick return touchdown. Now we got to see if Lee Wong can step up to the plate. He's my kick returner now. Got the same environmental conditions against the same team on the same difficulty. Representing the DBs and representing China. Lee Wong. Let's get it, Lee. Let's go, Lee. Okay, Lee. Get up to 30. Not gonna lie, guys. So far, Lee feels kind of fast. This is why I wanted to test this out. Because DBs on extreme are a lot faster than the wide receivers that I usually have on max speed max stamina so i feel like dbs are just naturally faster on this game but there's a 
only one way to find out. Can Lee Wan take one to the house? Lee Wan gets down at the 20. Three attempts left for Lee Wan. No! Come Go! Lee! No! Two attempts left for Lee Wan. Will his blockers help him out here? Oh my goodness, Lee! One attempt left. Representing the People's Republic of China. Lee Wan. Lee Wan. All right, well, after doing 5K returners with my rats, it is determined that wide receivers and running backs are indeed better. So that one seems like a myth, all right? Can you get a five-star offense slash defense at the start of year two? Let's test this one out, all right? We're in Arizona, we just went two and 15. This is what my team is looking like right now. One-star offense, half-star defense. Is it even possible, man? Let's take a look at the rookie draft. All right, it's pretty good. This is an offensive draft for sure. I'm gonna trade all of my players here for picks. I'm gonna need to stack up on picks here. There's no point in keeping any of those guys. We got one first round pick, two second round picks, five third round picks. We're gonna go offense here. All the top players are offensive players. Let's try it out, man. Jabril Myers is our first pick. Four star offensive player. Second round. All right, we still got a three and a half star player here. At two star offense. Got a three star QB here. Two and a half star offense. Third round. This is the most important part. Take a wide receiver right here. Three star offense. All right, we're running out of players to draft though. This is the tough part. Take a tight end here. Three and a half star offense. Take an old lineman. Three and a half our offense. Okay, what can I do now? No more offensive players left. Wait, I feel like I can do this. Wide receivers. Oh my goodness. Three and a half star offense. The draft is over. Wait, I feel like I can do this though. You know what? Let me try one more time. All right, we're four and 13 with Arizona this time. This is my starting roster right here. Let's get into the draft. Oh my goodness. Another good draft. Once again, I'm going to trade everybody here. I think we're going to build offense again by the looks of the draft. Yeah. This time we have one first round pick, four second round picks, and three third round picks. That could help a lot. Let's take this tight end right here. Boston Duncan started out. All right, we still have a four-star O-lineman here. We're going to take him. Caesar Neesman. Three and a half-star wide receiver. Definitely Wallace. Another O-lineman. That can help a lot. Okay, okay. We're at three and a half-star already. We've only had four players. We need a running back for sure. So take this running back. We're at a four-star offense now. Wait, this is doable. All right, three third-round picks. We don't have a quarterback yet. Okay, we take another tight end. Four and a half-star offense. Oh, my God. Will a one-star QB complete it? That's the only position that I'm missing and that's the best in the draft. One star quarterback, Daxton. Four and a half star offense. No, no. I have one pick left. What do I do here? Oh my god, what can I do? I think I can only take a lineman. Kittle, the old lineman. Can he make my offense a five star offense? Yes, he can. Okay, this is possible. Oh my god, I just drafted a five star offense right off the rip in year two. Routes are different in Retro College versus Retro. Now, according to the Retro Reddit, a few routes, but not many routes, are indeed different in Retro College. Biggest change in my opinion is that you can get way less of the free yard short tight end route. Instead, you get a nice long outbreaking route from them. Everything else is pretty similar. Junkies and my dog. Junkies and my dog. No. Junkies and my dog. Junkies and my dog. Is this Kai Sinat? All right, let's take a look. Okay, these routes are definitely in Retro Bowl. Let's throw it out of bounds here. We're gonna find a route that's not in the game, man. Those routes are definitely in Retro Bowl too. One more time, one more time, one more time. Whoa! Oh, never seen a tight end run that route. Oh my god. Yeah, it is different. Wait, I've never seen this route before. Wait, let me hit it one time. Number one time. Okay. Okay, so I guess routes are actually different in Regimental College. I did not know that either. Wow, I'm learning so many new things. This is so educational. The AI prevents scoring 28 when you have three points. Huh. All right, let's test this out too. Let's get into a situation where we're down 28 to three. Let me ball. 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 Wait, let me show you some highlights in the meantime. Nice. I'm nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come back and get it. Look at that. Look at Oh man, let me throw it up real quick. Let me throw it up real quick. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know I know about leverage. Oh, he oh, 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 can't score a touchdown. I was gaming a little too hard. Let's kick the field goal. Bang, bang. Let's get three points on the board. All right, now we gotta let him score four touchdowns. 21 to three. I just threw another interception. They should score here. I have no defensive players. All right, here we go. Oh my God, they go for two. Yeah. Why is that a thing? Are we like dick riding Tom Brady on this game? Okay. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that either. Myth is true. All right. Punt return fumble is possible. Punt return fumble? Has anyone experienced it? Is it part of the game? No. 
No, no. There's no opponent kickoff return touchdown pick six by your D punt return from you or other team. What did that even mean? I mean, I've never punted the ball and seen the other team just take it home for a touchdown, nor have I seen the other team punt me the ball and take it home for a touchdown right off the gate either. So I think this is a myth, man. There, there's no such thing as a punt return touchdown. I would love to see them add the punt in the future, though. That'd be pretty cool. Players you trade to will appear if you sign with the team he was traded to. Mm. Let's try this one out. Let me trade Lee Wong to Indianapolis for a round one pick. All right, we're heading to Indy after this season ends. All right, we have made it all the way to the Wrench Bowl Finals. I gotta win the entire thing. This is to ensure that every team is gonna hire me, including the Colts, all right? Do the Colts want a Super Bowl winning head coach? Here we go, man. Bozo. Bozo has done it. Will I be able to reunite with my brother? Oh my God. You're telling me I just simulated an entire season for nothing. That... <laughs> All right, new test subject, Ped Ophile. I'm training him to the Rams. All right, please, Rams, hire me. And you know what? Let's have some backup options too. All right, we're going to trade this guy to New England. We're going to trade this guy to Minnesota. We're going to litter the league with my players. All right, we're going to trade this guy to Denver. Now we're going to send the season again. All for this one myth. All right, I simulated another full season. We won the Retro Bowl yet again. I traded Mr. Ophile to the Rams. Please hire me, bro. I just won the Retro Bowl 27 to 0. Come on. Are you serious? Oh my god, but you know what? I traded someone to the Carolina Panthers and I traded someone to New England. Who was it though? Okay, but I'm watching the footage back. I traded a linebacker here, Kendall Mosley to Carolina. All right, let's hit Carolina. Here we go. We're taking charge of Carolina. Miami fans are in shock. Let's see if Kendall Mosley is on the squad. He's not here. That kind of sucks, man. I wish the players would continue on to their new team. But once you trade a player, they get sent into a void, into a space, and you'll never see him again. Damn, that's kind of sad. You can run the ball backwards on mobile. I'm not sure if there's a way you can do this with your hands. Hold on, let me let me see. Hey, okay, drop back. What about, yeah, no. Keeps going forward here. I, I don't know what else to do though. If I swipe back, he just stands in place. I use my controller here. Hold on, I'm still on my phone. What the hell, scramble, that's scramble. Oh my God, yep, yep, I'm running backwards. I'm running backwards. Well, I guess this is not a myth. This is actually true. You can run backwards on mobile. Technically, you could do it. Throwing to your running back is better than pitching the ball to him. See, this is kind of interesting because I always throw to my running back. My running back is Conklin, the one that won the kick return battle. He's explosive. All right, let's try it out. Here we go. Pitch the running back. Uh, I mean, I mean, that, 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 that's pretty. Oh, oh, that's what happens when you pitch to the running back. All right. All right, I need an outside run. Here we go. Now let's try throwing it to him. Throwing it to him. Throwing it to him. Okay, the tester certainly has some of his own issues, but there you go. See, I kind of like throwing it out to him better because, like, I really feel like when you pitch him the ball, you got to beat that first defender. You know what I mean? That first linebacker that comes out at you. But I just feel like when you're throwing it out to him, you know what I mean? Like, there you go. Bang. Okay, I'm short of the first down. That's a turnover on downs. But when you throw it out to him, you already beat the first defender. So you don't even have to waste a juke or worry about none of that. First linebacker. You feel what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I feel that was a pretty bad example. But I think this is true. So Going to your running back is better than pitching the ball. I think that is true. Not a myth. You guys let me know what you would think in the comments down below. Why am I squinting like I'm Vietnamese? Toxic players fumble easier. What? Fumbling is affected by catching level of the player morale and conditioning. Rookies have a higher chance of fumbling. I didn't know that. Rain and snow also increase fumbling chances. Mm, man, I'm learning a lot of new things in this bit. Okay, so I guess in a way, toxic players do fumble easier. Morale plays a part, man. I guess this is true. The maximum salary in the game is $325 million. You get bonus CC if you complete all the achievements. Do you get anything if you achieve all the achievements? Bragging rights on Reddit. All the achievements unlocked. Not a thing except the list fully highlighted. All right, so apparently you don't get anything. I wasn't going to test this one myself out. All right, I, I wasn't going to do that. I've seen some of you guys in the comments down below list this as an idea for one of my videos. You guys don't want me to live a happy life. So this is a myth. You do not get bonus CC if you complete all the cheats. You can gain more than two yards diving forward. All right, let's start diving. Can I gain more than two yards? Give it to running back. Two yards. All right, fourth down. Dive! Two yards again. Running back. Dive! 
One yard? Wait, what? Run and goal. Dive again! One yard. Okay. I don't think you can get more than two yards with this. We're gonna try it again, though. We're gonna try it again. Dive! Oh my god. Yeah, no. Two yards is the max, guys. This is a myth. All right. The most you can dive forward is two yards on this game. The longest a quarterback can throw is 33 yards. All right. Here's my quarterback. Here's the rat for this myth. Byron Bortles. Max arm strength. Max stamina. Let's see. How far can you throw it? Right down the middle. Oh my god, that went to the 41. Okay, let's see where he's throwing that. He's throwing this from our own eight. Our own eight to the 41. That's 33 yards. Right, let me try and bullet pass. We're throwing from our own end zone here. How far will that go? To the, the 31? Yeah, okay. I think 33 yards is the longest a quarterback can throw on this game. Leaving less than 35 seconds means the opponent can only score with a Hail Mary. All right, we're up seven here. 37 seconds left. I'm give them the ball at 34 seconds. There you go. It's on extreme difficulty, can they score? Can they put together a drive within 34 seconds? Can they do it? It's a Hail Mary throw. Oh my God, they actually hit it too. You gotta be kidding me, man. Wow. So 35 seconds is the benchmark for when the opponent has to go desperation Hail Mary throw. They can't build a drive if it's less than 35 seconds. All right, I guess that's true. On hard or extreme, your running back can only do one stiff arm and one hurdle per run. All right, let's try this out. We're on extreme difficulty yet again. Now, there's no way we can control how many times he hurdles, but we could definitely stiff arm a bunch of times by juking into the defender. All right, so we're gonna try this. Let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, uh, one stiff arm. Oh my god. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen two stiff arms. One stiff arm, one hurdle there. I get a two on one run here. Come on. Come on. Stiff arm. Oh, a hurdle. Oh, no way. No way. Stiff arm. Hurdle. One more. <laughs> Come on, man. Stiff arm. Hurdle. Hurdle again. Not all good. That's one of those things I never really realized until you actually read it out to yourself and kind of, you know, decipher the information. Restarting the app after you see your player stats in the game restarts the game. All right, let's activate the sim. We got absolutely blasted. 29 to 10. Okay, we got an injury. Okay, that sucks. We lose. We, let's do an interview. Let's criticize the officials. Do the zebras. All right, we got the player stats here. Let's try it. Let's refresh. Get back into Baltimore. Play Miami again. All right. That's true as well. There's a cap on the amount of draft picks you can have for one draft. All right, I stole my mom's credit card. We're gonna do some purchasing here. We're gonna buy the entirety of free agency. I'm a tycoon. Let's see how high we can jack up our draft picks. All right, come on. Buy all the best players in sight. Hooker, who else? Borders, get them in here. Five-star players. Once we max them out, yup, yup, you know it. See you later. Okay, I spent about 1.5K CC just now. And uh, yeah, I have uh, 70 first round picks. Three second round picks and a third. I have 74 draft picks. I don't think there's a limit on draft picks on this game. So that's a myth, all right? There's no cap on the amount of draft picks you can have for one draft. You can get better quality draft prospects if you have a worse record. Does having a worse record result in having better draft picks, all right? Draft pick quality is tied to both your record and difficulty level. Mm, so your record does contribute. It does matter, which I have definitely noticed in my experience playing Retro Bowl 2. Difficulty level is the important part though. Let's test this out ourselves, all right? I have a 3 and 14 team here in Chicago. Difficulty is on extreme. Let me take a look. Let's experiment. Let's test the hypothesis. Let's see what the draft gives me. Eight four-star players. Jesus. That's a pretty good draft class right here, man, for extreme. All right. Now we're 3 and 14. Same record, same rack, but we're on easy difficulty. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out to Heavy's Eye Videos. Who is this guy? Now let's take a look at the draft quality here. This one only gave me five. What? Okay, so I guess it's kind of random. I think record definitely plays a part. But I don't know about the difficulty part. That part is still wishy-washy. But you do get better quality draft prospects if you have a worse record. That myth is true. Wide receiver strength affects blocking. Does wide receiver strength affect their blocking ability? I gotta beef up my run game. Like, this guy is a DJ, man. I always thought strength was like just straight stiff arm, just straight like slapping you in the mouth. It is linked to blocking, but it also means stiff arms. All right. Okay, I guess it's linked to blocking walking too. So if you guys want a better run game, get receivers that have better strength. All right. The final myth right here. You can bring a player out of retirement. Now you guys know in my Retro Bowl series, I brought back the legend Brendan Hall out of retirement in episode number 49. All right. Shout out Google Pixel 9. We had Stephen A. Smith in this video. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Stephen A. for doing this video with me. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness. This always gives me chills. Every time I watch this back, it just gives me goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? I'm back. Do you want to reinstate Brendan Hall until the end of the season. His salary will be nine million. This is real. B Hall came out of retirement. He told me he wanted to come out of retirement. We had to bring him back. But can you guys do this at home? The answer is 
no. And the reason for this is because Brendan Hall is a special breed. He's a different monster. He is the only player on Retro Bowl who is allowed to come out of retirement back into the game. All right, that's just how the game works. That's the decision that the devs made. All right, Brendan Hall is the only Hall of Famer that you can reinstall in this game. If you don't have B Hall, which you don't, you will not be able to reinstate him. All right, there you guys go. Those are the 25 myths that we just busted all over. All right, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'm out.